So hey guys, today I just thought I'd take a quick look at this 20 amp low voltage cutout board or battery protection board. This is the one I mentioned in a previous video where I was using my Ego battery to run 120 volt tools on 110 volts DC. And I put in another battery protection module, but I mentioned that I also had a 20 amp coming. It was just taking a lot longer to get this one, but um, it's a nice little board, it's small. On eBay, it says this uh, take anywhere from 7 volts to 80 volts. Matter of fact, in one spot, it says 6 to 60 volts. And then on in the description, it says 7 to 80 volts. So we do know that we have a 100 volt rated cap. That 47 microfarad there is rated for 100 volts. And this chip here, U1, it is a XL Semi XL7005A. And we've talked about that chip a good bit on this channel, but it also has an 80 volt input rating. So, so maybe the board can take that high. But one odd thing about this board is they have a similar board on Amazon. And I'm not going to put the link to it in the description because for some reason it says it's to 6 to 36 volts. Um, you can't see in the pictures if it has a 100 volt rated cap or not. So I just don't know for sure. But um, this is a nice little board. The compact size of it is what kind of got my attention. The width or longest dimension on this is about two and a quarter inches. A little less than 1.7 inches, about 1.6566 in height. We'll probably have to add some standoffs, solder joints there, but you're still looking at less than a three quarters of an inch. So, Definitely with standoffs, you could get by easy with a, uh, just an inch or so. And you may even better get by with three quarters of an inch if you just had a real short standoff. But the board is neat. It comes with the terminals, the relay, and the readout. And I got this for about $10, and the price has gone up on this since I ordered it. About the time this one come in, and I did my last video, it was then went up to like $13 or $14, so... I would definitely do the best offer and try to get it cheaper if I could, because I know they were selling it for 10 bucks. I'm just gonna bring over my power supply and hook it up to our input. I have 24.6 on my power supply readout and 24.7 here, so it's dead on. Set for 24 volts. And 0.5 volts, like reset. If I take this down, it's, it's got just a few seconds time delay and it cuts the output off. And when I get, it should be about 24 and a half volts. Yep, the output comes on. I can put my meter on there to show. So I can also hook a load up to this. Let's just bring over this, this little small relay. So now with the relay coil across the output, hopefully you can hear that click, give us a little bit of a audio and a visual indicator, as well as that LED light. So I drop it down. So this can protect the battery from discharging too far. So I kind of like this board a lot. I like the 20 amp feature, and if you needed something for more than 20 amps, because this is a small, I guess it's like a Form C relay, but 20 amps is a good bit of current, but if you wanted to do more than that, it could be easily done with a contact or a relay. I definitely showed how this thing could uh, kind of oscillate and go back and forth. So that's why you want this set. I think the factory setting is two volts on the differential or the reset. So at two volts, that means our battery would have to be charged to say 26 volts to get it to come on. So if we drop out below 24 volts to reset, our battery would, would be charging right now. So we would have to charge it to 26 volts. And then it would come back on. So if you wanted to go higher than that, we could. We can make sure that um, it don't bounce back if you will. But we go all the way to like four volts, just for example. Cut this down. Now 24 volts won't get it, 26 volts won't get it. It's gonna take our way to 28 volts. 
So that's a good way to have your battery charged to a certain level. And then when it drops below your low cutout, cut off and not just bounce right back and come on. But if you did have a really heavy load and maybe your battery wasn't charged up very high, you would have to set this a little bit lower to actually make it initialize or come on to start with. So the only way to get around that without oscillating or chattering would be to use something like this relay with a, with a latching contact. At that point, you could set this really, really close and this would just latch in. The drawback to that is your relay coil has to be really, really close to the voltage you're running. This happens to be a 24 volt coil. So we wanted to do something similar to this and have our 24 volts coming out and going across our relay contacts. And we can, we can come off to our load. We could use another normally open to come around to a ceiling contact, or in this case, we could just come off the same one here and our ceiling contact could, um, could momentarily start the, the coil and then our seal in or latching contact would hold it until our power drops off and then it wouldn't reset until we reset it. So now back with the relay, wired up really similar to this where we can jump over to our coil and our seal in or holding contacts that come around and hold the coil in. This is just a momentary switch that I had that I wired in across um, a normally open contact to our coil and below 24 volts, it will not work. I'm gonna take this all the way down as far as it'll go to 0.1. And now whenever we get above 24 volts, we'll get our power to here. And we can latch our relay and we have our 24 volts coming off and holding and it's going to hold until our 24 volts drops off so after a brief time delay and it won't come back on till we get above 24 volts so that's a way to make it where it's a latching type so if you needed to do so so i just wanted to show a quick video of this board in operation because i did mention it like i say in a previous video and it actually is a really good little um, low voltage cutout board. So I think I'm going to use it in some of my applications. And um, you can use it anywhere from your, you know, your 12 volt, 20 volt tools up to um, like I use it on my 56 volt Ego stuff. But I'm, I'm still not 100% sure. But the specs may let you go up to up to 80 volts. Now you probably couldn't use like the Cobalt and Greenworks like 80 volt stuff. It's probably going to go above 80 volts. Either way, it's probably going to be above the board. But I would say any of your 60 volt tools or tool batteries. So I have a link in the description for a couple of these boards. Uh, this one, including the one I used in that previous video. So feel free to click on that link if you're interested and uh, doing so does help support the channel. So I appreciate it. So if you like this video today, looking into this low cutout board, this little battery protection board, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.